What is up? So we are just getting in the car. We are gonna go down and meet with a really awesome guy that I wanna introduce you to. His name is Brandon Porter. They focus on an area here in Oregon called Newburg. He's created this website that is all about his area and he interviews uh, businesses and people and is just building a following there. We're gonna go meet with him real quick. Hopefully I'll get him on camera and you guys can say hi. Uh, let's go to it. <laughs> I told you that I was going to be swinging over to meet with Brandon Porter. He is a realtor here in Portland, um, but he has actually spent the last year working on a show called The Brandon Porter Show, where he basically is becoming the go-to person in uh, Newburgh, Oregon, which is where he lives and also sells real estate. I think that it's really awesome the way that you're doing this. For those of you that know Gary Vaynerchuk and have read his book, Jab, 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 Right Hook, it's all about give, 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 and then ask, right? Yeah. So you've spent the last year giving, essentially. You've spent the last year giving to your community, supporting the businesses in the community. Now, you are slowly turning that, going to be turning that into a way where you can ask for the real estate business where people want to support you yeah. because of what you've been doing. I'd love for you to spend just a couple minutes and tell people a little bit about what it takes for you on kind of an ongoing basis, why you started it, what you do, and what you're hoping to turn it into. What you're saying is, is exactly right. Gary Vaynerchuk is really, the the reason behind this show to begin with like i got into real estate i knew that i didn't want to build my business in a way that was the typical like pounding phones all day yeah you know yeah. having to be online at a moment's notice responding to a lead that sort of thing gary was like if i was a realtor i would be i'd become the digital mayor of the town and i was like yeah great i'll do that I realized i had this creative side that i hadn't been tapping into and my previous job like I sat on the idea for an entire year which that was like the one thing about the show that I regret is that I waited my kind of philosophy behind it all is I feel like people should be thanking you for marketing to them and so what I've been doing and this all comes from a place like the very foundation of it is that I love the place where I live and so this is very natural it's not something that I'm faking or trying to you know, say that I love it when in reality it's just gonna be a tool to sell people real estate. Like, this comes from a place of like, I love my town, Newburgh, and it's already in an awesome place, and I feel like that I can make it even better. It takes a ton of work, like it's, it's a lot of work. I spend, on the editing side of things, six to eight hours of my time. Every episode, I release one a week. Don't shy away from saying like, that's a lot. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> because it is. It's a lot, yeah. The Even once every daily, two weeks yeah. would be plenty, I mean, right. plenty. A lot of my but it's, time. It's, it's an easier thing for you to do because you are tapping into something personally that right. you like to do. You're tapping into a subject matter that you like and that you care about, which yeah. is Newberg. You know that, that there is on the horizon a way for this to possibly also be beneficial for your real estate business. Right. I love that you are putting in the time and the effort and and that you're actually seeing, you know, kind of seeing it through on your own with a long range goal. Yeah. Like if I was to sell this to somebody, right? And they would be like, well, how many leads am I gonna get from it? Right, like, what's the ROI? What's the ROI? Yeah. And you run a business, obviously you need ROI on that. And doing this type of stuff, content marketing, right. the ROI is a long range thing. The people that do it who ultimately win are the ones that persevere longer than everybody else. Yeah, absolutely. right? Absolutely. Within this last year, I've had four transactions that have happened as a result of the show. And like, you guys know the GCI on a, on a transaction. So that really the show's cash flow positive. And the cool thing is that like, I haven't mentioned real Without estate. Without a, an utter of real estate Yeah, I haven't mentioned show. real estate at all um, or solicited business from it at all. You know, it's just been people 
like organically learning that I'm a realtor outside of the show. And like, I even had um, one of the transactions, a couple that they're like, we love what you're doing with the show for our community. Yeah. And uh, we want to use you to help us buy a home. Yeah. And I've said this a million times with real estate and I will say it again. <laughs> People use you because they like you. Yeah. People don't want to work with companies, they want to work with people. Right. So if you are charismatic and if you are a good person and people get a good vibe from you, they are going to work with you regardless of whether or not you are the top 1% agent in your area. People don't really care about that at the end of the day. They just want to know that you care about them mm -hmm. and that you can sell their house and that you're not a dick. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's the biggest thing. Uh, Brandon, thank you so much yeah. for taking some time. Uh, if people want to check out the show and check out what you're doing, where should they find you? Yeah, so go to facebook.com forward slash the Brandon Porter Show um, at the Brandon Porter Show on Instagram. That's where it's most active. The videos are all up on YouTube, but we're, we're working on growing that this year. Cool. So, yeah. so uh, bam. All right, I'll probably have some more thoughts in a little while, but until then. Oh,